When Mahadevi came to Kalyana, it was the king's residential town. The Kalakuris had taken the throne of Shalakuyas of Kalayana, 1156. King Bijala I reigned 1156-67. But Kalayana was also the center of the Vira Shiva movement, who run an academy, Anubhava Mandavam, Hall of the Experience. In the choreography of the sixth episode, Mahadevi falls at their feet of Alama Prabhu, the master teacher of all Vira Shiva devotees. At first, he and all the assembled wise men in the academy hall of the experience were shocked and embarrassed to see a young half-crazy beautiful woman wearing only her long hair to cover her body. She undergoes a test with questions, which she answers and is accepted. She writes poems there and remains there for some time, exchanging ideas with her companions. Alama Prabhu teases, probes and questions Mahadevi's nakedness and that she is a genuine devotee of Shiva. In this dialogue, Mahadevi's own poems is used as the answer that she gave to Alama. He asks the wild-looking woman with her long, loose hair, Who is your husband? And she replies, My husband is the Lord Whitest Jasmine. Then Alama asks, Is it true you lit the blame and left Kaushika by shedding your dress and laying your body bare? The mistake of your nakedness cannot be undone. The garment of your hair screens your form. How is it your shame is shed? Mahadevi replies, Unless the fruit is ripe within, the outer peel will not fall off. I had a feeling it would hurt you. If I displayed the body seals of love, oh brothers, don't tease me needlessly. I'm given entire into the hands of my Lord, whitest jasmine. You can confiscate money in hand. Can you confiscate the body's glory? Or peel away every strip you wear? But can you peel the nothing, the nakedness, the covers and veils? As long as a woman is a woman, then a man defiles her. As long as a man is a man, a woman defiles him. When the mind's taint is gone, is there room for the body's taint? To the shameless girl, wearing the white jasmine lord's light of morning, you fool, where's the need for cover and jewels? According to the legend, she was accepted as a true devotee by Alama Prabhu and Bashavana. It is from this time Akka, affectionately meaning elder sister, is added to her name, Akka Mahadevi. The legend also says Alama advised her to continue to Sri Shailam, a wild rocky mountain and forest area situated 400 kilometers east of Kalyani. But there may have been many other reasons why Akka Mahadevi left Kalyani. On the way to Sri Salem, Akka Mahadevi may have composed the following poem. Oh, twittering birds, don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, swans on the lake shore, don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, high singing cuckoo birds, don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, peacocks in the caverns, don't you know? Don't you know? Tell me if you know. Where is he, my lord, whitest jasmine?